There's a lot to do. What do you need? I understand you received a blessing from every member of my company. That is good. And frankly spoken, quite impressive. But, the approval of my companions is only the beginning. First, you will need to test yourself. Return to me once you think you are ready. Is there something you need? I'm glad to see you've returned for the next phase of your initiation. I would ask that you seek out Byersa. She can help you progress through your training. Find her at the Buinbale Woods training area. Be that as it may, the life of a ranger, even an honorary one, is perilous and unpredictable. You require a different mind and skill set to conquer the challenges ahead. By ourselves, training will help you achieve that. You committed to this cause, so I insist that you follow protocol. Then show me the meaning of haste. Sure. What do you want? I was waiting for you. I thought you might never show, yet it is fortunate that you did. My task today is to get you ready for the life of a ranger. I wouldn't have you think it is an easy life. Once you indicate that you are ready, you will be subjected to a series of trials. Each will symbolise a hurdle you must overcome before you may be deemed fit for your new tasks and life. Are you ready to begin the process? That is not unthinkable. I cannot guarantee you exit here scarless. No, I cannot be swayed by coin or favour. This is a process that calls for completion, not evasion. Good. The first trial is the trial of strength. I need you to break this boulder behind me. That was performed as expected. Good work, Outlander. Good, for we have only just begun. The second trial is that of morality. Say you just apprehended a man responsible for killing five goblins. The man begs you for mercy. How do you respond? So to lock him away in confinement is your answer. Would that suffice? What if the man killed five men, or elves? I admire your resolute conviction. You are capable of adhering to your beliefs. Still, I do wonder if you are able to develop a flexible attitude towards life and the world. Thank you for answering these questions. Based on what you say, I suspect you might enjoy the company of Durusk the most. The next trial is that of mental endurance. Do you see that tree stump over there? I need you to stay perfectly still atop it for six hours. You cannot move during that time. As your instructor, I am forbidden to joke while you are under my guidance. Remarkable! You made it appear so easy. Quite a few. You do realise that becoming a ranger requires a considerable amount of effort, right? It's not like we'd ask just anyone to join. For the trial of wisdom, you need to answer the following question. What creature walks on four legs in the morrow, two in the afternoon, and three in the twilight of the day?
You'll have to explain your reasoning for that answer to me one day. Let's say that wisdom is not your strongest suit, shall we? <laughs> but fear not, I won't tell the others. <laughs> the correct answer is a man. He walks on his hands and knees as a child, on two legs as an adult, and on three with the aid of a cane in the hours before the night falls. I suggest we move on to the next trial, personal development. I want to ask you a question. What do you hope to achieve in the world? Quite well, but what if you actually achieved what you set out to do? What purpose would your life have then? This sounds like a realist's attitude. You are never done learning. Know when perfect means never sufficient, and appreciate the good enough to become content. You have now endured all of the trials in this exercise. I am quite satisfied with the results and will report my experience to Thormin. Thank you for your patience. I will ask of you to return to Thormin now. I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. Sure. Ah, good fortune has returned you to us. Byersel delivered her report of the trials, and I hear nothing but good stories. I dare say that you are ready for your initiation now. Take some time to reflect. Return to me when you are ready. We will prepare the rites in the meantime. You stand before me with hope, I see. That is all right. This is no small event. Return to me when you are ready. Excellent. Come, brethren. Let us introduce this recruit. We have assembled here to welcome a new sister in our ranks. Let us speak the words of rites and the offerings to the Vanir. We call to Chesco, the Lord of the Winds. We invite Tamira, the Lady of Stars. We call upon Maldoran, Master of Deep Currents. We beckon Enigma, Shaper of Mountains. We seek out Eleonora, the mother of beast and tree. We invite Mali, the easer of hurts. Finally, we look to the one who sees over all. We seek out your power, so that the one who is deemed worthy to join us may receive our secrets. Let us now say the ceremonial words in our old language. So it has come to this question. The question that will determine your future. The question that you cannot evade. Good Outlander, will you take up the oath to call yourself a ranger? And so we welcome you to our ranks. May your arrival bring light and hope to a world on the brink of darkness. Take pride in your new title in your new name, and in your new companions. And so it has come to pass that you have become one of ours. You are a marked woman from this point forward. People will look to you and expect better. 
I trust you are prepared not to disappoint them. But congratulations. I hope you are as proud and pleased as the rest of us. That is good to hear, but we have little time to bask in the joy of today. There is work to do. As am I, let us hope that something good comes to us. But we will not fashion the good ourselves. So, let us speak of your first mission as a ranger. The Shire is on the brink of disaster. We have several clues, including some brought forward by yourself, that a major force is trying to occupy the region. This warrants not just more investigation, but I propose we take action as well. Several members of this force, and I suspect who might be leading these members, have been spotted in the Shire. I need you to join up with the Rangers and halt their activities. Which one of your company would you like to aid first? There is a suspicious construction site near Haffington, and I asked her to investigate it. But once again, trouble seems to be following that girl. There was nothing dangerous. She's just supposed to be gathering information. But it is Tinruth, and... Well, I... Perhaps I should have known better. I fully intend to, when she's ready. But you saw what would have happened had I done nothing earlier. Those goblins would have flayed her alive. When I sent her out, the area was relatively clear. And so I saw nothing objectionable about it. But now, I have received word that the number of bandits in Haffington has grown far more than we could have anticipated. Put plainly, I fear the worst. Just make sure she's safe, and if need be, retrieve the information I sent her out to obtain. She can make it back to the base on her own this time. Good luck, Ranger. What are you doing here? Wait, Foreman sent you to retrieve me again, didn't he? Well, I can't go back now, no matter what he wants. Yes, I have it. Turns out they tore down the old mill, and they're putting a new one up. That's what Foreman wanted to know. But if I go back now, I'll be empty handed. So, I came up with a plan. You don't know that. In fact, he'll probably congratulate me on my quick thinking and flawless decision making under pressure. Alright, so the construction master arrived about 10 minutes ago. With him out of the picture, this mill will fall about several weeks behind schedule. On top of that, we can sabotage the site so when a new overseer takes over, It'll be delayed even longer. Any questions? I salvaged some of the wooden boards from the old mill. With a little bit of time and careful handiwork, I managed to degrade their quality. They look normal, but they're mostly hollow, and they'll split when too much weight is resting upon them. I'll need you to replace my sabotage boards with theirs. Hey, just leave it to me. All right, wait here. I'll take out the construction master, then he can proceed with the sabotage. Thanks for the confidence. Hey you! Where did the new workers sign up? What? Who are you? 
You don't look like one of my men. And where are you off to? Wait, I just noticed something. The bandits have stacked oil barrels up against the mill here. You could either stick with my original plan, or blow the sucker sky high. While I wouldn't mind seeing in a pile of burning ash, it won't take them long to figure it out if we took that approach. Good idea! Blowing up the mill would kinda defeat the purpose of subtle sabotage, wouldn't it? Just hurry up. I'm not sure when the next ruffian patrol will come by. Should do it. These ruffians will have quite the surprise waiting for them later. Let's get back to the base. So, I sent you out to find Tinruth, and in return, you sabotaged the construction of one of our enemy's mills? I'm impressed. Good work. Really? I would have expected a more radical response from her. I suppose I have some things to consider now. Thank you for telling me this, Outlander. 